This love ain't yours for the taking And baby, this heart can't tell what's right or wrong I know that no love ain't real if something's broken But I know that we both gotta know it's time to let go In the end, it's only down to us There's no love, no more Hey guys and welcome to another extremely motivating cleaning video. In today's video we are doing some spring cleaning. I am trying to clean up some areas in our home that will make it more efficient for our AC to run this summer. We live in a very hot climate and I also wanted to switch out some of the kids clothes, go through them. Their drawers were overfilled with clothing and a lot of it was actually just too small for them so it was time to switch all of that out and fill up some donation bags and just tidy up and declutter their closet and their room as well and then of course just clean up all around our house because as you can see we are a very active family and there is always something going on around here. If you are new here, hello my name is Madison. I am a wife and mom of four kids. We homeschool and we just we're very very busy all of the time and we really use our home we use our home hard and my goal this spring is to tackle some areas in my home that I have been neglecting that just really need a deep clean or need to be decluttered or organized better just to get to those little areas that I have not been able to get to recently so I hope that this can motivate you to do the same. Check off some things on your to-do list. Definitely let me know what areas of your home you like to clean in the springtime. Do you do spring cleaning? Do you have any type of schedule? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. 
Something that tends to hold me back from doing any sort of spring cleaning is that I often have a lot of tidying and just basic cleaning that I need to do on a daily basis that takes up a lot of my time. But recently, I have started enlisting my children. As many of you have commented, and you are definitely right, they are old enough to help out and pick up after themselves. So we have been working on having a better routine and having certain times of day that they clean up their toys so it doesn't become a complete disaster. And it's really working, you guys. Things are getting a lot better. I feel like some things are being taken off of my plate so that I can focus on some deeper cleaning and just, you know, do the other things that I'm not able to get to. I even created lists for my two oldest children, my 15 year old and my seven year old. My seven year old absolutely loves his list. It's so motivating to him. He can't wait to check everything off. I add in even like his practicing of his piano and voice and his soccer practice and as well as chores. That has been really motivating him and has been something that has been working for our family. My teenager is not quite as motivated by the list, but he has been doing great. He recently joined CrossFit and I'm just so proud of him. He is getting healthy. You guys may know or you might not know that he had a bowel obstruction. So him being able to do physical activity like that and just be living his life and being a balanced human that exercises, it just, it makes me feel good inside. It makes me feel good to see him living. So anyway, we're just a regular family doing our best just trying to be productive and well-rounded people if you are interested in more personal things in our lives definitely follow me on instagram i share about our day-to-day -day life and homeschool and just behind the scenes things So I changed out the filter. It was in desperate need. This filter is an odd shape and so we just needed to purchase some new ones. We finally did. This is very important for your AC to run properly and for allergies and all of that. So I feel terrible that I let it go this far. But another thing that I did is vacuum the vent. I had to try a few different attachments. But I finally found the proper one and you guys will see how much better it starts working. See that 
it's coming off so easily so something I used to do is wet this like spray it with a cleaner and wipe it down and the dust would just not come off and my stepmom actually told me that if you wet it it's going to make it stick and make it worse so that you so you need to vacuum it and that actually worked I think my camera cut off for some reason before I finished but you guys get the idea it looks so much better and I could probably hit it with the vacuum a few more times but it looks way better than it did which makes me so happy. Right now I am tackling some of the drop zone areas in our home. So as you guys could see, I cleaned up like the coffee ice station. That is just a spot that people tend to drop things. And then over here in the laundry room is another area that people tend to drop things. So of course I have to tackle some laundry for it first because we have a never ending cycle of laundry in this family. But then I went ahead and cleaned up all of the clutter in this kind of drop zone area. I'm also watching a YouTube video. So this is another one of those things though where if the, I have laundry to do, I try to tackle that first because it's what's most important and then get to the clutter.
All right, so now we are in my middle boy's room. This room had gotten out of hand again. When we cleaned up the game room in my last video, that was more of a vlog style, get it all done with me type video. Definitely check that out if you want more personal, but also very motivating video where I check off things on my to-do list all in one day. That is when I clean the game room. And oftentimes when I clean a big space like that, some of the items end up in their room and it just makes it a huge mess so we got this space tidied up and i'm proud to say it's been a few days and i had them just check off on their list tidy your room before bedtime and it has been working so i feel very proud of that but we got this room tidied up and then after that we were able to tackle the spring cleaning of cleaning the closet and cleaning out their drawers Henry has seen me vacuum tons of times and I think he is really getting the hang of it. So that is going to be a chore of his is to vacuum upstairs like his room and the game room. And I think I will give him a few pointers, but really because he's watched me do it so many times, like him doing it right there. You know he was basically just doing it on his own without me really showing him so that is the great thing about my kids being around me cleaning a lot is that they just kind of naturally are exposed to it so now i'm going through their clothing and i did not realize how many shirts were too small for henry now so those shirts or just any clothing that's too small for Henry, I'm just putting in a pile. I will put that in a closet to save for Jack. He wears most of his clothing is Henry's hand-me-downs. We do get him a few new things, but it's wonderful to be able to pass down Henry's clothes. 
Clothing is something that I like to save money on. So we do have a big family and it's really nice to be able to pass down the clothes. And then the clothes that are too small for Jack, I'm just going to give that away. So I usually do this once every season, like spring, summer, fall, winter. Our seasons are pretty mild here. Like I would say we mostly just have hot weather. So I guess the, the heat is not mild. <laughs> we get a lot of hot weather, but our winters are mild. So we don't need like a ton of long sleeve shirts or heavy coats or anything like that. Uh, our weather does change a lot though. So some days you may need pants, maybe a long sleeve shirt or a light jacket. Other days you need just shorts and a t-shirt and you're like boiling hot and in those clothes so I like to just have um, some layering and different possibilities for my kids for whatever the weather is and the seasons are really just a good time to evaluate everything and be like okay for the most part everyone has what they need for this season I do think Henry needs some more shorts his are getting a little bit small so I'll probably get him some new shorts Song about our past So I just close my eyes And dream 
This dresser has been an absolute blessing. It holds both boys' clothes so nicely. The drawers are really deep, and I just added some of those drawer dividers. So when I have this organized and decluttered to just the clothes they're wearing, it is absolutely perfect. It's from Ikea. I feel like Ikea gets a bad rap, but anything I've gotten from Ikea has really lasted, been good quality, it's cute, it's affordable the only thing is when I first got this dresser it came in a flat box this thing is huge you guys probably can't even tell on camera how big this dresser is um, and it came just in this flat box and I decided I was gonna put it together usually my husband's the one that does that it was rough it was rough but I was really proud of myself once I got it all together <laughs> So as you guys can see, we got this closet cleaned up. I've got some giveaway bags over here. I've got one bag that's just a bag of trash, things that I decluttered that aren't worth giving away. And then this bin is something that I guess I was saving for like shoes to maybe pass down to either Henry or Jack and some clothing. Uh, but there was some that somehow got in there that's either too small or it's a certain size I ha I, that I usually keep in a different spot. So it was good to go through this bin and then some of these clothing items are just special like jerseys of Carter my oldest when he played on different baseball teams and things that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet but I don't want to get rid of them because it was a really special time many years of him playing baseball so now he plays golf and he's doing CrossFit and you know he's just doing other things but it was a special time so 
any way just going through all that it's good for me to check the shoes see are they going to fit them now so that it doesn't pass us by when they've already grown out of them